Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this video, we are going to learn without using Postman. Okay, without using Postman, how to test an APIs. Okay, there is an alternative way. Without using Postman, we can able to test APIs. Okay. So first, what we are going to do is we need to install VS Code into our mission. Then we need to install the Thunder client plugin into VS Code. Then we are going to perform our API testing. Okay, these are the three points we are going to concentrate on this video. Suppose without Thunder client, suppose if you are going to use Postman, so how are we going to test it, okay? So the Postman is already installed in my machine, okay? So you can use, if it is a get method, get post method post, put is put. Here we are going to perform our URL and click on send button, okay? So this is how we can perform API testing by using Postman. So now in this video, we are going to see the alternative way of doing API testing without using Postman, okay? Without using Postman, the alternative way. So first, what we need to do is, we need to download VS Code into our machine. Go to Google and type VS Code download. And click on very first link. So here we can able to see Windows, Linux, Mac, okay, different operating systems. So here it is, mine, it's like Windows. I'm going to select Windows operating system over here. See, as soon as if you click this download button, here you can able to see there is a download option, okay. The installer is downloading, okay. Once it is downloaded, just click on this one, show in folder. Okay. I'm going to copy this, go to downloads. I'm going to copy and keep it into my software's folder. Okay. Once it is copied, just give on right click, click as run as administrator or else you can, if you click open, that will also work. Okay, I'm going with the run as administrator. The pop-up, it will come. So you need to select as yes. The user installation net means okay, it's run as administrator. If you would like to install VS code, Yes, okay. So the next option we need to select as accept the terms and conditions. So where you want to set this location, okay? If you want default location, this is the default location. If you want to change the location, you can change it or else you can click on next. Again, next. So here, we need to check this option, create a desktop icon, okay. Click on install. So it is installing, just wait for a few seconds. So meanwhile, let me copy. and paste it here, okay? I'll provide this URL in the description also. Okay, now it is installed, click on finish. Okay, this is how our Visual Studio code looks like, okay? If you want to change the team, okay? If you want to change the theme, 
you can select these options so okay i'm going to select light modern option okay then next section so if you want to add any plugins either you want to run with the python or java or data wave okay so these plugins it will help us okay anyway market has done so this is how it looks like so now one step is done so we have downloaded vs code and installed successfully into our machine then very simple we have to add thunder plugin so what we need to do is okay so here you can able to see extensions option okay it's very important just observe here click on extensions okay so here we need to type the plugin suppose if you want to run python and by using vs code we can do it if you want to run java we can do it okay this is a flexibility we have in a vs code suppose i want to run data wave okay so instead of data wave playground okay data wave okay we can do that but here our requirement is we need to install thunder client okay thunder client go to extensions in the search bar just type thunder just type thunder so here you can able to see this type of icon just click on this one okay click on install see now it is installed into our vs code it's like the plugin is added successfully okay now i'm going to close it now i'm going to close it i'll come from beginning okay let me do refresh so here we have a vs code in my desktop so if you see here this is an thunder client in the down we have an option before okay after extensions we have an option thunder client click on this thunder client okay first we will perform any api testing by using postman okay this is my url okay i want to fetch employee details for the employee ids file okay just observe here here we can able to see the results the 200 response code the same thing i want to perform in a thunder client i don't want to use i don't want to use postman so how we need to perform just click on this thunder client so here we have a option called collections new request and any run bits okay what i will do is first i'll create a collections okay earlier we do have an option like collections also here collections options we do have here in the postman so now once you sign in into postman then only we can able to see that option see there is no option to create a collections so if you create collections then that will be very easy to refer in a future okay collections i'll go to collections here we have an option called new collection i'm going to keep it as employee and just give enter see now collection is ready okay if i want to rename it you can do rename there is an option okay now just click on this three dots three dots click on new request so the request name so what is the request name okay let me minimize get employee based on id okay this is my request 
see as soon as if you create that one we can able to see this get operation here so now what you need to do is that is which method it's a get method so here we have an options like to select the methods get post put delete something like this now here you need to copy paste your url click on send button see how beauty it is it is giving 200 okay 200 okay and it's giving the response for the same okay i want to test for different one suppose 6 okay the employee id is 6 it is giving the results it is giving the results so the same way suppose i want to add one more request here okay click on new request fetch all employees so here we need to provide the url so i'm going to remove that employee id okay there is something i saying okay let me search okay employees okay employees it's not employee it is an employees see we are getting all the employee details over here so this is how we can create multiple collections okay i want to create one more collection over here so what you can do you can create the collection to test the products to test the products so okay that is a flexibility we have in a thunder client okay in a thunder client so even you can use postman also this is an alternative way of doing okay this is an alternative way of doing so what we need to do is okay just to revise the session first we need to download and install vs code if it is already installed then that is well and good then what we need to do is go to extensions type thunder client okay type thunder over here we need to install this thunder client after installing we can able to see the option called okay there is a thunder client option here so here we need to click on collections so here we need to create multiple collections over here okay multiple collections so i have created two collections and inside that i have created two request so if you want to create another request like to delete some employees or something like this you can do that so here you can select delete okay this is how this is how we can do see here you can able to see get get and delete suppose i want to add post method click on new request i'll create create emp now you can change it to post and provide the url here okay this is how we can create the main advantage here is you can create collections okay whenever you want you can use it here whenever you want you can use it in future suppose you want to share this entire collection with your colleagues okay here we have an option called export okay export we can do export here okay you can do export and keep it into keep it into wherever it is required okay so this is how we can export and also it's like a backup of your collections whenever it is required you can again import that options okay see here we have an option called import again we can do import okay i hope you enjoyed this video okay thanks for watching this happy learning